Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. Today is April 7th, 2024. Tomorrow is, wait, so today is April 7th, 2024, Sunday. My last video was about two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Um... So before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, you do clarity great. If it does not, then do not force it to be your story. Okay, so tomorrow dun, da, 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 is April 8th, the eclipse, the solar eclipse, which is very exciting. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm just going to start pulling some cards. I'm going to use the new cards that I got in. Um, so this deck is the Into the Lonely Woods Oracle deck. You know, it's interesting because the book right here, there's like a little note and it says blessings and messages for times of solitude and isolation. Um, and I don't know, I just, I saw the deck online and I was like, oh my God, like that's perfect. see I don't know there's just something about this I mean all my decks are special to me okay but out of all my oracle decks I don't know there's something about this one that um I don't know I, I feel a little closer to I guess so Let me, um, yeah, that works. Oh, I saw, um, I was, like, driving to work, and I saw two bunnies, no, well, two rabbits. Like, I saw one, and then, like, right kind of behind that was, like, another one. Oh. Um, so, rabbits symbolize, you know what, let me just look it up here. Okay, um, new beginnings, fertility, luck, sensitivity, rabbits are incredibly sensitive animals, processing up to 20 times the amount of scent as humans. So you can be... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just saw 332 and 333. So, excuse me, I just burped. A lot of you are going to be experiencing new beginnings. Um, okay, and like, I, I there's like something I want to say so bad, but it's like, it's like stuck in my throat. Um, it's about your gifts, collective. They're, I just heard, it's increasing. It's increasing. So whatever gifts you have, it's like by the magnitude, by the magnitude, right? It's multitudes by the magnitude. I, can, I just, it's like random words that just like, because I'm not getting it out fast enough. So like, I'm just getting random words. But so yeah, it's increasing. 
by the magnitude. So let's say, for example, like, oh, okay, perfect example. So you know how pregnant women can like just smell things? Like they could be in their house and like they could be smelling like the neighbor cooking next door. So it's it's like that. Whatever like clairs you have, they're going to be increasing by the magnitude, all right? It's it's increasing like exponentially cuz you know, you know everybody knows about rabbits, like rabbits like they be breeding like no tomorrow. Like two rabbits can make a litter of like 40 rabbits like a clan or whatever. So it's like your clairs are increasing rapidly, exponentially. And I don't know, there's something about like your luck, obviously, in the beginnings. And, you know, some of you are way more fertile than you ever were. And for some of you, it could be like re fertile as in like reproductively, but it just like an increase of ideas, increase of opportunities, increase like just a very fertile energy. All right. Let me move on. It was really the thing that I really wanted to say most was about the clairs, an increase in the sensitivity of your clairs. So, like, if you have, if you're clear audio and you hear things, you're gonna be hearing more than just bits and pieces. If you smell things, you're gonna be smelling for more than like just like a fractal of a second. You know, it, it's 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 like that. So. You can't be stopped either, so. Damn. Wow, three. This card actually came out in my reading two days ago, but it came out in the reverse. I'm gonna, actually, yeah, I'll just put it right here. So yeah, they're learning of rights. This card is basically talking about how you're falling into place. You see the little guy up here and he's being caught by these three people with like a little blanket thing, right? So you're falling into the right place, the right time. You're in the right place, the right time. You're also like, this is also talking about, because I read this card. <clears throat> they're... This is also talking about like the what's that? I, I was just saying it. It's um you know that phrase the water or blood is thicker than water? This is basically talking about how um in my last video I also said like that's not the full phrase A eighteen. It's the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, which basically means that the people that you choose to be around the people you choose to be like your friends your family members and sometimes those bonds are much stronger than the people you grew up with or your your family members or you know your whatever you know it's like um you see it all the time in movies and tv shows where like the the child has a much stronger bond to like the nanny than their own parents it's like that okay so that's a good example then we have these two cards. Hope is like a hummingbird. Oh, that's so sweet. You see that? Hope is like a hummingbird. If you know anything about hummingbirds, hummingbirds, they're tiny, tiny birds. They're, they're itty bitty birds. And they move so fast and they have like fast little harpies and they always have to keep moving. There's something about like your hope. I'm gonna read the cards, obviously, but like you, you always kept hope alive. Keep hope alive. Like even, even if it was like a, the smallest, smallest glimmer of hope, it was still beating. It was still there was still life in it. There was still breath in it. It doesn't matter how small of a glimmer of hope it is. You know, nothing can. It's hope. Oh wowzers! This is so good. Okay. And then we have drink from your own well, water your own garden. That's beautiful. So yeah, so basically, 
I already know what this is talking about. This is wonderful. So basically because you kept hope alive and then you started loving yourself, you basically found your soul tribe. You started falling into place with the divine. You know, you started like, once you started, I mean, it really had to do because you just never gave up, right? Because you never gave up. You're just like, okay, well, let me start loving myself. And once you started loving yourself, that's when God is like, all right, now we can like, you know, you, you, by keeping hope alive and loving yourself, God's like, you're doing the work for us out there. So that way we can put things in motion, you know, out in here, like the, the wake, the dream world, spiritual world. All right. For hope is like a hummingbird, hummingbird board. Hope is like a hummingbird. Hope will come to you again. And just when you feel most heavy, most joyless, know that the miracle will occur. Yeah. Like a hummingbird, it will come small and weightless, bringing back the joy of living, the lightness of being. Yeah, it's uh, there's something about it's easier for you to breathe again. It's easier for you to live again. It's like you you have that joy of light, it, but it's like uh, enjoying like the simple pleasures of life. But instead of I remember, okay, I remember when I was a teenager. And I was, um, I'll never forget this. I don't know why, but when I was a teenager, I had a lot of, um, mental health issues like depression, anxiety, and you know, things like that, whatever, whatever. So I was in psychiatric work a lot when I was a teenager. So I remember one day. I was like in the hallway. It was like, I think lunchtime or dinner time. And on top of like all that teenage angst and all that crap, right? This lady, one of the um, staff members, she was there and like she was also eating lunch as well or whatever. But she picked out specifically a carrot cake. I will never forget this. I don't know why, but it just makes so much sense, right? Because it says hope is like a hummingbird. And... Something, it was just something so simple that she said, right? And like, I don't know, I just never heard something like that before when I, at the time when I was a teenager, I just saw one, two, three, three. But she picked out a carrot cake and she took a spoonful of bite, uh, a spoonful of it. And she looked at me and she goes, oh, this is one of life's simple pleasures. You can just enjoy it. And at the time I'm like, it's a piece of cake. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's like something so small brought this woman joy happiness like peace pleasure like a piece of carrot cake it made her so happy right and it's like that could have that's that's where you are just like finding joy and happiness and keeping hope alive through the simplest smallest things as small as a hummingbird and let me tell you hummingbirds can be like this big and that's not big at all but it's like you, whatever you found joy in, as small as this crystal, this right, it, it's that was still enough, right? So I don't know. Um, I just wanted to use that as an example. So, anyways, um, it says soon you will savor the sweetness of life, and wherever negativity creeps in, in whatever form it comes, it will be transformed. Love shall come in the simple tasks of life, and gratitude will flow from your heart. Like, I'm telling you, like, the minute she took a bite, she was like, I don't know, it was like so happy for her. And it was just a piece of cake. Um, Like the hummingbird, you may feel small, but you are capable of the most amazing feats. Your ability to change, adapt, and recreate your own life now grows strong, and you come to respect your resilience, your playful nature, your natural optimism. <laughs> All these treasures return, light as a hummingbird, sweet as a nectar of flowers. So I feel like for some of you, you had no choice but to find your own joy, your own simple pleasures, just things like as a piece of chocolate cake, right? Or a piece of carrot cake or like, I don't know, finding a cool rock and like being so grateful that you found that cool rock or being so grateful that you have a bag of chips, right? Whatever it is, it's like those things like just kept building and building and building. And now it's just like, it's just so easy for you to find joy and happiness and love everywhere and anywhere. And 
It's like, why not put that into yourself? You see? I just saw 1501. Hope is... Oh, wait. I, read, I just read that one. Drink from your own wa well. Yeah, drink from your own well. Water your own garden. Oh, my goodness. My tongue is getting tied. All right. Drink from your own well. Water your own garden. When we are alone, we learn how to not take our inspiration or sustenance from others. Yeah. We do not drink from their wells. We do not feed from their cauldrons. We do not need anyone else's energy to generate our own. Yeah, that's when you're just like, you know, I can just find joy. I can just love myself. Like, it's not. We can create our own energy, find the source of the spring within us, and begin to drink from that and discover who we are when we are most ourselves. Within you is a spring. Drink from it. Within you is the garden. Water it. Find the source within you. Seek inspiration elsewhere. This is not the time for that connection. Now is the time to follow the path until you discover the grail of the self and become your own light. Yeah. So in doing this, you were able to find joy and happiness and just kind of like not rely on the world to make you happy, the world to love you, the world to accept you. You had to do that yourself. You had to love yourself. You had to find your own happiness. You had to love yourself. You had to nurture yourself. You had to care for yourself. It's like that. And by doing so, it just puts you in the right place at the right time with the right people. There's also something. I saw a meme. On, I, I don't know why. I keep. There's this meme that's popping into my head. And it was, there's two little characters. And one character is holding a jar. And the jar says happiness. And that the character that's holding it they they they're like glowing and then the other character is next to it if i find it i'll post it on my community board i always say that but like i never do <laughs> um then the, the, the other character next to it he's standing and he's like he's asking the character holding the jar he's like where did you find that and the character holding the jar he's like i made it myself so you made your own happiness you made your own love you made your own joy you didn't, for a lot of you, you, you just, you did this by yourself and that's kind of like, I also feel like it may not, if this is not people, like a soul tribe out here, right? I mean, you know, if it's not like people that you're making bonds with out here, it's like you, you have like ancestors and spirits and angels behind you while you were like learning how to love yourself. Water. Oh my God, there's two hummingbirds. Yeah, look. So there's a hummingbird there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little tiny thing. And then there's a hummingbird here. Yeah. So you had to learn how to do all this. And it's like they were behind you, like literally, figuratively, spiritually, um, always catching you. Every time you fell, you were, you were being caught. There's also something about that. Like every time you fell... They were there to, like, catch you. And it's, like, you, what, another thing you have to realize is that you were never really truly alone. Simple pleasures in life, right? All right. So I'm going to move on to tarot. This is the, uh, what is it? The Cirque du Tarot. Where, I was just, I feel like I was just looking at the box. Where did it go? Anyway, so this is a Cirque du Tarot. By so-and-so and who's who. -so -and -so. I, I, I don't have the box with me, so I'm sorry. But, um... I got all of these, I got all three of these decks from Llewellyn um, Publications, by the way, so they have a lot of neat stuff, so I don't know, check it out. What's pain when I look at you? The devil. 
So there's um, energy of temptation and jealousy and obsession. It could be a Capricorn. Or there's just a person or a group of people that's trying to draw you in. And it, this is their energy. And they're trying to like push this energy, this devil energy onto you. This is in my way. What's pain when I look at you? I don't know. I love, I love that part. If you haven't seen the new, um, that movie, Wish, by Disney, you should definitely check it out. It's a good movie. What's pain when I look at you? All right. The devil. The devil. That's the devil. There's like this one um, skit. And the mom. It's, it's literally by the same guy. Like if you know like that one skit like years ago. Um, shoes. 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 It's, it's, this, it's the same guy. But he did like a bunch of skits, like they're so good. They're like classic, but um let's get some shoes. It's it's that guy. Anyways, he did another skit and he was like, um, he was like the daughter, Kelly, obviously, right? That's that's the character's name, Kelly. And so Kelly's mom is like super conservative, super religious, like she'd be like it, it it's so funny because like She'll be reading pamphlets of like Christian pamphlets as like an evening to relax. <laughs> and Kelly was coming down the stairs and I guess, I don't know, she had like a tattoo or something. And the mom started like flipping out. She's like, that's the devil. And, but she goes, devil. And I don't know, the way she says it, I'll, I'll never forget it. But um, yeah, somebody, uh, I also feel like somebody is saying that this is you, like, you like you loving yourself is like oh they're not they're not doing that right they're they're just they're I don't know they're trying to say like you loving yourself and finding happiness and it, it, it's like I don't know it's it's not of God I guess but this is this is this person these people it could be a um a group of people I want to show you the card Oh, I don't know. I, I, I already did, right? I mean, they're all dressed, so it's not like, you know, but there's definitely because of that person in the back. But this is somebody around you. They're very devilish, demonic, evil, um, jealous, obsessive. They like to indulge, overindulge. This person could, like, very selfish and messy maybe not physically messy but like their energy is just like messy it, it's just like too much it's too much that's this person these people which is crazy because this is your energy like very calming like even the waters are calm you see the waters are calm in both of these The waters are calm here. So. I'm getting a headache. All right. Because I'm, I'm getting like a lot of stuff. So there's something about calmed, calming waters. All right. So let me backtrack for a second. So you could be very calm or like in calm waters or just things are very like while you were learning things and finding. I also feel like. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Okay, you see how this person is by themselves on a lonely rock in the middle of the water, like stranded, but somehow they still have hope, even though they're by themselves isolated, right? And again, the book says, blessings and messages for times of solitude and isolation. So either you were put in isolation by God or people around you tried to isolate you deliberately. Either way, you use that time wisely. And this is what happened. This was the result of you being by yourself you bloomed, which is crazy because in one of my social media accounts, I literally posted of a rose blossoming today. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, so you just bloomed in more ways than one and many ways in one. That's you now. Now, 
with this card right here, these people are bound and binded and they're being dominated. Like, this is definitely like, I mean, obviously the card is like, card is like subdom theme. Hold on. But for me, thank you. She just gave me a little cookie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Think. Cheers. She is so sweet. Ta I love it. Can you give me like a couple minutes, sweetie pie? Don't touch the flowers. Oh, hold on one second. I know it's super chaotic. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, my daughter wanted to give me like a cookie, and then she like wanted to eat it with me she goes cheers she's so cute and then my fiance called and everybody's just like mom mom right anyway so what i was gonna say was this is like a whole right that theme but i was gonna say that um this group of people or this person they're definitely being and I, I don't want to use it this way, this word this way, but that's what's going on. They're literally being dominated by the devil. It's like they're being overpowered, controlled. It's like at this point, because they're so, uh, it's, I don't know, it's whatever they succumbed to, it, they can't get out of it. They're, they're bound. That's the word. Like literally, they're bound, right? They're bound by their devilish ways they can't get out of it they can't stop it i i don't know i'm not trying to like get into that because i don't really care i mean i know why but i'm not getting into that but it's not your business as to why or how they can get out of it or whatever that's i'm just telling you that's what's going on there's a group of people or there's a person that they're, they're bound by their devilish evil spiteful demonic Obsessive, jealous, karmic ways, and you know, it, it is what it is. And then you are blossoming in every way possible. What's pain when I look at you? See, no. <laughs> That's such a good song. All right, um. Yeah, they're bound. I keep hearing the bound woman. The bound woman. So this could be a, a karmic feminine Capricorn. Maybe it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but this is like, uh, it could be a karmic feminine that's like bound by her own karmic ways. And you're the complete opposite. You're blossoming into your self-love, your self, your joys, your happiness, your peace, your soul tribe. Once hey, when I look at you. Oh my god, nothing's coming. What? Oh, fuck, it didn't come out. Okay, five of cups I'm on the fence. So whoever this person is or these people are, they don't know how to feel about you blooming and blossoming into who you are and what's going on with you and all that good stuff and all that dry up. So, also, I'm getting that whoever this person is, people, that if they made a mess, they don't know how to clean it up. What's pain when I look at you? Yeah. There's also, I don't know if you can see, right here, there's like a set of hands. And then right here. So, if this person is the bound woman that's in the devil card, right? So, you see this character here. This character here. And then there's like a third character right here. If this is a karmic feminine, for some of you, it's a karmic masculine or a group of karmic people, whatever. There's a, a woman who made a mess. She doesn't know how to clean it up. And people are blaming her. Literally, this we see these two hands right here. And then you see this hand with that guy right there. 
there's a group of people that's blaming her for the mess that she made. And then there's also someone, like a spectator, watching all of this go down. So a spectator was watching this woman create a mess, knowing that she's not going to know how to clean it up. And then people are blaming her for the mess that she made. Agent Cat Shum. <laughs> and this is a person that's stuck in their karmic ways. I, I don't, I, um, I don't know. What's pain when I look at you? All right, so yeah, she doesn't know. And it's like, because you're in this blossoming energy, she doesn't know what to do. Like, you made a mess, right? So go deal with that. This woman is led by her karmic ways. This bound woman, she's bound. Like, she's she lets herself be led by, like, her impulses, her negativity, her jealousy, her obsessions, her indulgences, like, and when I say overindulgences, her messy ways, this person, I don't mean like, it's not always like substances and alcohol. It's not always that. It's just like, for some people, it's like they could overindulge in gossip. They could overindulge in being nosy. They could, whatever that's like that that's they just they just overindulge whatever it is like i'm just giving you an example of the many ways that people can overindulge in it's not always just food or substances or alcohol right it, it, there's many many ways where people can overindulge shopping is one um right so you get it was when I look at you. Okay. We have the page of wands reverse. So this person is blocked from any so if this person is trying to figure out an idea of how to clean up a mess that they made with the ace of wands and the page of wands reverse. If they're trying to figure out how to clean up this mess that they made, they cannot. The ideas have run out. The well has run out of ideas, of people that can help them of opportunities like at this point everyone's just blaming them and watching them and blaming them and watching them watching them and blaming them and blaming them and watching them that's it this person doesn't have any other ideas they could have been trying to block a um a high priestess because i, I in this deck the high priestess is um what is it the ringleader of the circus right in a circus there's a ringleader with the top hat. So, but in this deck, um, the high priestess is the ringleader. So they could have been trying to block your knowledge of intuition or like trying to block you from knowing the truth of what was going on or that this person, they were doing a mess or making a mess or, yes, my baby, or creating a mess. Listen, you have a five o'clock shadow of Oreos. It looks like she's got like a little five o'clock shadow beard, but it's just the crumbs of the Oreos. <laughs> it's so cute. But, um, so yeah, this person is, is blocked because also if this person was trying, if this karmic, this bound woman or this bound man or these bound people, they were trying to block a high priestess, you're still very much balanced because you can see that she's on this ball and with one foot and she's still working her magic and she's still, you know, doing what she's doing. So you could be someone that's very intuitive, very powerful, very creative, very magical, very passionate, and they were trying to block that. But it's funny now, because I'm only amused now because if whatever mess that they try to do to block you from being this way in the Ace of Wands, my phone just lit up. They don't have any other ideas. They don't know how else to block you. It's like they've tried every avenue. They've They've done everything, and it's like, they, they've done so much that it, now it's just one big blob of mess. You know how, like, you have, like, a bunch of slime, right? And they're all different colors, different textures, different styles, different trinkets inside of them. 
it's like this person took all of those slimes and put them all together, and now they're trying to like separate all the colors, all the textures, all the styles. It, you can't. It's impossible. You cannot. It's like toothpaste. You know, you squeeze out toothpaste. You can't put it back in the tube. That's what this person did. What whatever they were doing to make sure that you will not be in the Ace of Wands. It, it's. Give me a second, hold on. Alright, I'm back. So, let's see. Okay, so, um, what was I going to say? All right, let me keep going. Okay, so my pyrite, my pyrite, right, was on top of the Ace of Wands. So I feel like this person, let's say they did a bunch of stuff to try and be like you or to be in your energy, like to be this ace of wands. <sighs> to like, I don't know, like. So if this person, if these people or this person was like in some sort of competition with you, not only did you know it, or not only did you not know it, but it's like, not only were they also, okay, also not only were they in competition with you, but they wanted to like, be, or have the same spark that you have, right? So that's why they did all this. But here's the thing. And I don't want to be mean about it, but you actually like, it's like you did the work to be in this blossoming energy, which is why you ended up being like a high priestess or like an emperor or whatever you would know, divine masculine, divine feminine. I mean, you, I, you could be divine masculine and still be in your high priestess energy, right? Because, right? But I was going to say that. This person did all of that. I don't know. They were under some sort of illusion. That's what I'm saying. Like, they were bound. Like, they they let themselves be driven by, like, some demon or devil energy. Like, I keep, like, I'm having so many grips right now. Sorry. It's like, I, I'm having so many distractions. <clears throat> and I keep, like, burping. And, like, my throat's, like, going dry. So, this person has been doing all of this to, like, get your spark or something like that. And, like, I was going to say, this is what I've been leading up to when I mentioned the pyrite. Whatever this person has is fake. And they know that. So, they wanted what you had, which was real. But the thing is, pyrite is also known as fool's gold. Right? Like... 
pirates thought it was like gold and things like that. It's not gold at all. It's like, it's just a pretty rock. So it's like this person could be very attractive, but that's, that's it. Beneath that, it's just, they're just another rock. Right? So I don't want, I wasn't trying to be mean about it. And like every time I was like trying to lead up to it, like, I don't know. It was just annoying. But yeah, it's, they're attractive. They could be very handsome or very pretty, but it, that's kind of, that's it. That's where, that's where it ends. There's no, like, with pyrite is also known as fool's gold because people think it's real gold, but it's actually just a rock. So this person, it's like, you're the golden one. You're actual gold. Like you're the valuable one. And this person knew that it's like, they wanted to be the valuable one, but that's, they're just a rock. So it's like a rock was trying to take the place of gold. There's rocks everywhere, but it's like, it, it's not like, it's, it's not gold. All right. Um, <sighs> Knight of Swords on top of the Five of Cups. So you know exactly what this person was doing. Knight of Swords, yeah. Also, this person, they were doing, like, they, whatever they were doing, it just made things worse for them very fast. It's like a snowball going downhill. You see it in cartoons and movies all the time. A snowball is going downhill, and, like, the faster the snowball goes, like, the bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger that it gets. That's what's going on. And now it's gotten so big. Things have happened so fast. This person is like, what do I do? What do I do? Ah, ah, ah. Like, you see how, like, she's, like, so freaked out and nervous. She's like, oh, my God, how do I clean this up? Oh, my God, oh, my God. This person did something way too fast, and it got way too big. For, and it's, like, all because they were, like, <laughs> this person could have been a bully, too, or they are a bully. Or, like, I mean... They're in this, that's the first card that came out for them, this devil energy. This is definitely, like, somebody who, this is not a good person, man. I don't know why, but it's, like, this person, they themselves are also shocked at how big of a mess that they created. It's, like, they were doing all of these things, and now it's, like, oh, my God, what do I do? How do I fix this? Like, it just happened so fast, but this could have been going on for quite a while. But it's just that the aftershock for them, it's just rapid. It's like that. It's like faster than they expected it to happen. So they're just like freaking out about it. It's like they weren't expecting some sort of like hit or effect, like, like an aftershock. You know how like when an earthquake happens, which is crazy because we just had an earthquake here recently. And we're like, we never get earthquakes, but we just had one recently. So, you know, earthquakes, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, the aftershock happens. It's like this person, they were trying to create earthquakes in your life and mess things up and do this and do that. So that way they can be, like, the center of attention. But they weren't expecting the aftershock, right? Like, if you're not used to earthquakes, you don't expect aftershocks. You don't even know what that is. So it's like this person was like not expecting this to happen to them. Let alone this fast. Let alone like this. There's like whatever is happening to them. It's like bad. It's like volatile. It's like I, I wouldn't even wish it on my worst enemy. It's like that bad. But again, this person chose to be your enemy. So that has nothing to do with me, right? That's not your business collective. It's because they were in this energy the entire time this devil energy so you know it is what it is
the lovers. Wow. On top of hope is like a hummingbird. Oh. Somebody got their wings. That's you, Collective. It's like you got your wings, you can fly now. You're balanced out. You just needed to isolate yourself and love yourself and learn what makes you happy and communicate with yourself and be honest with yourself. And once you did that, it's like the divine is like, yes, now we can give the collective their wings so they can fly and be free and do whatever it is that they want to do. So the lovers is Gemini, but it also talks about balance. So Gemini could be involved, or this could be about, you know, you finding love. But I, I truly feel like it's more about balance. You being balanced enough. That's part of, oh my God. That's part of uh, the learning of the rights. You know, how I was just talking about how you blossoming and then like finding, being in the right place in the right time, your soul tribe and blah, blah, blah. So for a lot of you, because you blossomed when you needed to, how you needed to, for whatever reasons you needed to. Four reasons to change. Yeah, so you had reason. All right, I'm, I'm not going to answer that, but. So, yeah, now that you're balanced out, you can, yeah, you're able to blossom and be in the right places in the right time and meet the right people. So for a lot of you, it is love. A lot of you, you just have to love yourself, and it's it's all of it. It's not just one of these things. It's all of these things. It's love and being at the right place at the right time and blossoming, and balance is the key to everything. And now you have your wings. What's pain when I look at you? Who is that, though? Because this person, they're also this person. What's pain when I look at you? So, I'm, I'm not. So the spectator that was watching this bound woman do all of these things, that could be the person that's. It's gonna about it's gonna sound so corny and so cliche, but the spectator that was watching this bound woman, um, work and act out and operate out of her devilish ways. That uh, the operator, or the spectator, is for some of you is the same person that's going to be your love. It's like they were just watching this woman do all of this, like, crazy shit. And they were just, like, just sit back and watching. I feel like this is the same person that needed to watch things from a spectator's point of view. Because it actually shows who's got their wings and who's free and who's still bound. You, collective, you've got your wings, you're free, you can do whatever you want. This other feminine, she's bound. She has no idea. She's freaking out. What's pain when I look at you? All right, let me move on. The moon. So there's going to be a lot of things that are being illuminated. I also... Well, okay, so the this woman's hair looks... Um, this woman, yeah, this woman's hair looks like curtains. I feel like somebody's trying to close a curtain on something. So like nobody can see it. You know, it's like... So if this is the same... There's this bound woman made a mess and she's trying to cover it up. 
It's like spilling a glass of milk and then quickly putting like paper towels over it, right? And it's like you can't. It's so crazy because yesterday I was grocery shopping, right? And I had spilled my drink in the aisle, and they have like these, um, they're, they're like keep floor or wet floor signs, but they're like um these rippable. I don't know, thick paper towels that you can just put over the spill. And you could just like, you know, keep on going. And then like the cleaners will come clean it up and things like that. So it was like that. So somebody just feels like, oh, I just made a mess. Let me just cover it up. And I'm just going to keep on going. That's whoever this bound woman is. That's how she feels. Or that's what she thought she could do. Or that's what she's been able to do for a very long time. Just make messes, cover it up, make messes, cover it up, make messes, cover it up. But it's now gotten to the point where the messes are so big, that you just it's, it's you cannot, you cannot mess them up. I mean, you you cannot cover it up. So yeah, whatever she tried to cover up is being the curtains being pulled back. The curtains being pulled back, and for a lot of you, the reason why this bound woman did this is because she's deep in her feelings about something. Hold on. So yeah, whoever this bound woman is that was operating out of her devilish and karmic ways, she's and trying to cover up messes by trying to block you and things like that. That's being illuminated. The curtain's being pulled back from that. She definitely feels some type of way about you. Yeah, there's also a dog here. So it's like this person was obeying and being obedient Oh my god to like her master or whatever dark negativity drives her it's like she was just obeying those like if she felt some type of way and i don't know something told her to become obsessive and become a bully it's like she just gave into that and if something told her to be spiteful and be karmic it's like she gave into that if some i don't know it's like these, there's something like an entity in her or around her or a group of people around her. It's like she was just obeying like the worst parts of like a person could be. And it's it's being shown. Like, wow, you really just are a jealous, obsessive, spiteful, gossipy person. Like that's how you operate. Okay, noted. And there's a man around this woman that's noting that. The spectator, or uh, it could be a, a woman, depending. Like this, for some of you, this could be a bound man, and the spectator is a woman. But for others of you, it could be a bound woman, and the spectator is a man. That's your love. You know, you would take, have to take that how that resonates. But, yeah, the curtain's being pulled back. She was just being obedient to, like, her worst negative emotions. And those worst negative emotions, it's like she was, like, punishing you time and time and time and time and time and time again, making messes and... I'm just going to cover it up. Making messes, cover it up. It's like, it's too big. You, you cannot. It's too big. This person could have also been doing things to deliberately make sure that you do not get close to certain people or find the right people. Like, if this is an ex-lover, they deliberately made it so that way you will not find a new lover. If this is an ex-friend, they deliberately made it so you will not find new friends. If this is an ex-neighbor, they deliberately made it so that your new neighbors would be horrible or that nobody would ever move in, right? It's like that. This person deliberately interfered with the relationships around you so that way you would never find the good relationships for you. We got Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn for the majors. This person is extremely, I want to say too, I don't know what, but they're disconnected from the reality of the situation that they've created. It's like in their mind, this is somebody who cannot acknowledge the things that they've done or even like as they're actively doing it, they're not acknowledging it it's like they're doing something bad but it's like it's not clicking to them that they're doing something bad i feel like that's why it was so easy for the spectator around them to be like oh wow yeah you really operate that way okay noted that's crazy
what is that? Ten of Swords revert or on the fence? This person was trying to keep you in some deep dark hole or put you in a deep dark hole, but it's it's like they don't know they don't know how to do this or it's like they got themselves stuck by trying to do this to you. There's something about uh, like snuffing out the light in you or the hope in you or the faith in you. Making sure that you would never bloom. Yeah, like if they put you in a deep, deep, dark, dark hole, you would never bloom. But look, you bloomed in more ways than one. Yeah, I feel like they were doing this to a, a high priestess. Whether you're divine feminine, divine masculine. They were also messing with the reality around you. Like some sort of clarity or truth around you. What that's um that's temperance. This character right here, that character who looks like Marie Antoinette, that same character is in the temperance card in this deck. Yeah, they were doing everything that they possibly can to mess with the reality around you so that way you would not be balanced out. I'm telling you, this balance has is the key. That was the key, balance, and you found it. But they were trying to do the most to make sure that you would never find balance. Peace. Balance. So you see how this woman is also... By the way, this woman is also the high priestess in this deck. This woman is holding the cord to the curtains. Yeah, there's some. the, the curtains have been pulled back on the reality of the situation that this woman still refuses to see herself. You pulled the curtain back. Now this person, that's what I'm saying, like, she's, this bound woman is stuck because she's not, like, she's not even realizing herself what, what it is that she's doing. So that's why, like, she will always, there will always be a disconnect from her reality and, like, her devilish ways. It's like, she's so deep into it, she's not even realizing, like, oh my god, I'm, I'm operating out of what? I'm doing this? I'm doing that? Because to her, this is, this is normal. This is just everyday life. This is just, what do you mean people aren't karmics? What's a karmic? <laughs> it's like you're that disconnected that you can't even see. That's how you operate. That's, that's really scary. When someone doesn't know that they're... All right, baby girl, let me get one more and then I'm going to close the reading, okay? Hello? <laughs> you want mommy's phone? You want to take mommy's phone? Hello. Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this was a waste. Trying to make sure that you wouldn't get your wings. That was a waste of time, energy, resources. They just wasted, like... I don't know, half their life doing this to you? Or like the amount of energy and time and resources and finances, it's like could be considered a small fortune with how much that they put into this. Whether it's like energy, whatever it is, it's like you really spend all that time, all that money, all that resources trying to do this? Like that's crazy. It's like, you know how like when you spend a little bucks here, a couple dollars there, a couple dollars here, as you're spending it, it doesn't seem like much, right? But when you look back and you add it all up, you're like, oh my gosh, that's, you know, it's like this person spent a small fortune either in finances, energy, resources. It's like astounding the amount that has been wasted trying to make sure that you would never find balance because that's really what it's about. You would never find balance so that way you would never be in the ace of wands. Creating, passionate, manifesting, balanced, finding love, right? Finding your people, being blossoming, blah, 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 blah. The magician. Yeah, so they're stuck in, the own, in their own magic. And then we have the King of Swords. And bless you. I did say the King of Swords. Or I mentioned how you're able to see the truth now. You know the truth. So you could be of sound mind. And that's one thing that they were trying to make sure that you would not be. 
of sound mind because if you're not of sound mind you have a distorted sense of reality and you're just not thinking right you're not thinking clear you're just questioning your reality not knowing the truth off balance it's just a whole thing right it's a whole it's a whole thing What's pain when I look at you? Queen of Wands. So you could be this Queen of Wands, or you could be this King of Swords. Or you could just be in both of these energies, very ambitious, creative, artistic, attractive, wise, smart, of sound mind, passionate, creative. I said creative more than one. So you could be someone that's like an artistic genius, or like a mathematical genius, or like a creative genius creative genius all right so what's pain five of wands they can't bring any more conflict to you any more drama any more negativity any more strife it's just done like they're who you're fighting with now right that's really what it is like you're not fighting with me anymore so who are you gonna fight with now because it's not the collective what's pain when i look at you okay let me um do one of these bum, 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 bum. Oh. hold on oh i'm gonna do four of these mr sandman bring me a dream bring me the cutest that i've ever seen so whatever you're manifesting, it's coming to you. It's or you could just like, I want this, so you get that, right? It's like universe, I want this. Universe is like, all right, say unless you got it. What's pain when I look at you? Wow, attacking your sacro chakra. Yeah, they were trying to have you operate out of the worst parts of yourself. That's them. Attacking your sacro chakra when you're unbalanced. You're always guilty. You have allergies, eating disorders, sexual issues, and you're irresponsible. When you're irresponsible, you're not. You're not, right? You're not. When your sacro chakra is balanced, you're joyful, right? That's hope is like a hum hummingbird. Uh, fertile, ace of wands. Uh, we also have pregnant out here again. So either you're pregnant with like a little baby or it's just like, like I said in the very beginning of this video, very fertile, like with your opportunities, your abundance, things that you bring in, your manifestation, your creativity. You're just a very fertile person in like every sense of the word. Right, not just reproductively speaking, but like you just like King Midas, like he had like that thumb of gold or finger of gold. It was a thumb of gold, right? Whatever he touched, he turned to gold. That's basically your energy. It's like you can bring and breathe life and create anything you want. All right. So we have fertile out here twice with pregnant and then so when your sacral chakra is balanced, joyful, fertile, um, healthy life, pleasures. You're patient and you're creative. So we have Ace of Wands out here twice. And then we have Fertile out here twice. Um, and then, look, 222 alignment. Again, this is about balance. You are in the right time and place. Look, the learning of the rights. And that learning of the rights talks about finally finding your people. And once you became balanced, that's when you were able to be in the right place in the right time and finding the right people and finding blah, 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 right? Then we have the letter O. Could be somebody's first, last, middle, a nation. Um, I just said nation. First, last, middle, initial, name of a word or a place. But the word that I'm getting is like. I know this is going to sound like super inappropriate. But the word that I'm getting is orgasm. And if you know anything about that. Um, it talks about a release of like serotonin and believe it or not, orgasms are, I know this is super inappropriate, are like, uh, natural painkillers. 
I don't know. There's something about like being happy and like not letting anything bother you or like you're just so numb to all of these attacks that you don't even notice it. I also feel like because attacking your sacral chakra, they were trying to make you operate out of your sacral chakra only, like do sex and things like that and just like straight intimacy and only focus on those things. But like, that's not happening. Obviously that didn't happen. So that could have been part of the magic that they were doing, making sure that you were just be like sexually reckless. And just like putting your energy and your magic into like all the wrong things. And sharing your magic with all the wrong people. Yeah, whoever this bound woman is, she did the absolute most. And a lot of it had to do with making sure that you would always be like a player or like a whore or never settle down or just like never find balance and never find the right people and never, I don't know, right? It depends, you know, you would know, but like for somebody to do all of this, like you truly have to operate in this devil energy and that's this person, this bound woman. For some of you, it's a bound man, right? Like I said, you would know, but this is a person that's truly wicked and the curtain is finally being drawn on them. All right, so this is the reading. Hope it helps. Bye.